Welcome to Ozark Traditions TV. This week's show, we've gone to the dogs. Hey, welcome to Ozark Traditions TV. Hey, tonight we're going coon hunting, probably one of the oldest traditions in the Ozark. So, hey, we're fueling up, we're headed to Hartville, gonna meet up with a couple of friends of mine, we're going to run their dogs. Hey, thanks for watching Ozark Traditions TV. Well, we made it to Hartville. We're here with Mike Hensley and guy that I work with, Chad Larry, and his son, Hunter. Um, these guys are passing down a tradition of coon hunting. That's what we like here at Ozark Traditions TV. We're going to get ready to let the dogs out, and uh, hopefully they'll treat pretty quick. And then we're going to show you what we do when we're out coon hunting. So always, we thank you for watching Ozark Traditions TV. After putting the tracking collars on Paige and Otis, it was time to let the hunt begin. Well, we just unleashed the dogs. And now we basically just kind of hang out here until we hear them. And like I said, hopefully they'll treat pretty quick. And uh, when they do, we're going to them. Right now the dogs have just got treated. Let's go see what they've got. After locating the dogs, all we had to do now is cross a fence and go to them and see what they've treated. Once we got to the dogs, it wasn't hard to spot the coon, and all we had to do now was wait on Hunter to make a good shot. Well, right there, you just saw probably one of the oldest traditions in the Ozarks, coon hunting. I'll tell you what, these are some real good dogs. This is Otis, this is Paige. You can see we kicked them out there, and it wasn't five minutes. Mike and Chad said, how they struck? So we kind of just cut around, got down here, man. They was all over that coon. It's really exciting. That's what these dogs are bred for. I mean, that's what they love to do is chase coon. So uh, Hunter got to shoot, made a good shot on him. And uh, we got one coon for the night, and we've only been out here 30 minutes, so that's really good. So um, we're going to take the coon, fly back to, we're going to, I guess, turn dogs loose yeah, again, Mike. So we're tree another and one. And tree another one, and then, tell you what, it's just, this is what we love, Ozark Division TV, is Chad's here with his son, uh, teaching him how to coon hunt, the outdoors, they deer hunt. Uh, Hunter was on the show once with his There I Was segment, so... This is really exciting. I mean, like I said, watching these dogs work is incredible. So uh, we're going to hey, we're going to do it again. So stay with us, and remember, we thank you for watching Ozark Traditions TV. Right. Honey, what are you what are you shooting tonight? What's, what what are you shooting for your gun tonight? A twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right, good. That's what everybody uses, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. Well, the, the big dog is Otis. He's the younger of the two. He's uh, six months or a little younger than Paige. Paige is out of a dog out in Kansas that uh, I went out and bred to and raised it for. And uh, then I give half interest in it to Chad to hunt. And uh, Otis then I bred to a dog, went to Arkansas and bred to a dog and, uh, called uh, Black Backwater Bone Collector. And he's yeah. a, he is one over sixty-one thousand dollars in a, a new truck and wow has a, been a really good dog and that mean anything there yeah they've struck and got treated again so <laughs> well, so but i mean this is yeah. third generation of yeah. breeding that i've done different yeah. dogs and the mother to them has won me and combined between pkc and uh, missouri federation has won me over ten thousand dollars 
So well, it's 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 breeding yeah. good dogs. Good, to good dogs, dogs. Good dogs. Yeah. And uh, so well, it's you said they've struck again, right? Yeah, they've struck. Oh, and wow. Well, maybe maybe it won't be long. We can look at another one. I hope so. <laughs> Well, we made it, man. Them dogs went, it's like 600 yards according to the little GPS. But we're here, they've treated another one, and we're gonna slip one up here. Hunter's gonna see if he can get him. Let's go. It's, it's found its way to its home. That's part of our coon hunt. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, thought we had one tree. Well, we did. It's actually a den tree. So, um, you know, they beat us on that one. But, man, the dogs, they treat him and... Well, you can tell there's just wanting that coon bad, but uh, we're gonna take them a little bit over and cut them back loose again and try her again. A part of our training when we do our hunting and a lot of times we'll just cut one dog by himself and that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut Otis and we'll kind of ease around. Maybe he'll try us another coon. Well, we cut Otis loose a while back. Uh, he's treed up here, so we drove around. And now we're gonna go see what he's got. Looks like Otis has done his job. Instead of one coon, there's two. They're a little bit small, but Otis, he don't mind. Small coons of the creek right here. We're gonna let these go. Maybe we'll cream in a competition hunt. They're awful little, so we'll go to the next tree. After leaving the small coons. We stopped by the truck to get Paige. She joined up with Otis, and we went to another patch of timber in search of a coon. As Paige and Otis headed out into the night, we didn't have to wait too long till the dogs were treed. Well, they treed, but unfortunately for us, well, actually, unfortunately for the dogs, it's another den tree, so we're going to leash them up, probably cut them loose again. As luck would have it, we pulled the dogs away from the tree, we sent them off in the other direction, and wouldn't you know, they treat again. After making several circles around the old woolly tree, we finally spotted a coon. Mike decides to use the coon squall to try to get the coon to move to get in position for Hunter to make a better shot. 
After moving around the tree a few more times, we finally spotted the coon. He gave us a good clean shot, and it was time for the dogs to get their reward. Well, that was exciting. We come a long way for this coon. Man, the dogs were hot. They was all over it. When we got here, it's a, probably a big old blackjack, wouldn't you say, guys? A big yeah. old grouchy yeah. tree. Uh, Hunter took a shot and hit him, and we kind of thought maybe he was stuck on land, but we couldn't see him directly. He was moving around, and uh, Mike Hunter couldn't see him anymore, so Mike took the gun and went ahead and took care of him. But man, he is a nice one. Uh, as soon as the dogs are done licking on him here, we'll get him out and show it to him, but we've had a really good night tonight out here um, with Mike Hensley and Chad Larry and his son Hunter. Tell you what, this, is, this has been a blast. It's just nice just to watch dogs do what they love to do, and I'm telling you what, it's hard to take a dog away from them little coons a while ago, but you know, that's just, you gotta leave some. It ain't all about killing everything you get a chance to kill, so uh, new friends being made and just being out, it, it, it was probably the most fun of it, but man, watching these dogs work is really great. So I uh, tell you what, stick with us later on some more shows. We're going to bring you some more things like this. this kind of shows is what people like to see, and we really enjoy doing them. Meeting new people, uh, father and son, passing down traditions. That's what Ozark Traditions TV is all about. So we do thank you for watching, and if you do see us out somewhere in God's country, hey, stop us. We'd like to meet you. What do you think he weighs, Hunter? Oh, what do you think he weighs? 30? Yeah, probably. All right. <laughs> Want to get back to the truck, what will he weigh? Um, probably about 50. That's what I figured. <laughs> but that's just a nice, that's a nice coon right there, guys. That's a dandy. Well, we just finished a, an outstanding hunt with Ozark Traditions hunting and we uh, kind of want to go into our competition. We do a lot of competition hunting during the year, me and Chad, and at the local levels and we go national level too, but uh, I've been president of the Federation, Missouri Coon Hunters Federation, and uh, we invite people to come to our website and visit to see what our competition and our hunts and where our clubs are. Uh, there is 52 Federation clubs in in the state of Missouri, and we invite you to come out and, and hunt some of our hunts. Uh, our website is is like say uh, is on Facebook, the Missouri Coon Hunters Federation, and we we'll welcome you to come and visit. It. This week's there I was. We have Kenny Morgan from Lebanon, Missouri. Well, there was hunting in Laclede County. I had made a stand out of hay bales the night before. I had my 280 Ackley with a 100 grain ballistic tip, and I took it over there hunting with me, set in my stand for several hours, but seen many does, didn't see no bucks, probably hunted probably about 10 o'clock, and I went back home thinking I'd have better luck in the evening, so I came back out, and I sat back down there, and seen some more does, but no bucks yet. I was kind of getting just a little bit frustrated, but I was having a good time. All of a sudden, I seen this doe jump out in the fence line, and I stared at her through my binoculars for quite a while. All of a sudden, I seen this big buck come out 
right into the view of my binoculars. And this thing was huge. So I didn't know what to do. All I did was just stare at it. And then finally I got the nerve and the senses came to me to go ahead and grab my gun and attempt to shoot this, see if I could drop it. So it was probably 200 yards from me. And I hit shoulders, sh shot this thing right on the money. And it jumped on me and I ran about, it ran about 40 yards and I thought I'd lost it. And I hunted that thing for probably 20 minutes and I had walked over it and I didn't realize it. And whenever I looked down on the ground, it was laying next to me. And I honestly thought this has got to be the biggest buck that I've ever killed in my life. And by far it really is, but I hope next deer season I kill a bigger one. Hopefully there's many more to come. Hopefully I can make a Boone and Crockett after so many years of hunting. Congratulations, Kenny. That was a great buck. Thanks for sharing him with us. Folks, it's a new year at OTTV. Be sure to keep watching as we pass down those old Ozark traditions. From all of us at Ozark Traditions TV, we thank you for watching. And remember, if you see us out in God's country, stop us. We'd like to meet you.